Hi everyone. Welcome back. Uh, this is a sequence uh, of the video all uh, I have uploaded in my channel, which is the Oracle Cloud Accounting Hub Cloud, or you can say the Oracle Fusion Accounting Hub. So in that sequence, we already been uh, understood about the different type of uh, uh, configuration for the source system or third party system and uh, uh, transformation of the accounting rules and all. So today uh, in the sequence or consequence like uh, sequentially, we are just going to do, uh, demonstrate this account rule. So what exactly is the account rule that uh, we need to define? So basically the account rule uh, specifically uh, need to be defined for the uh, to which account or which uh, value set or which segment uh, or which combination need to be uh, picked up by the accounting rule or custom accounting rule at the time of uh, credit accounting triggered right so so in that case so what how we uh, what is the exactly the need of this uh, this is a mandatory configuration for the accounting transformation or uh, accounting hub cloud. So that we need to define. Uh, first of all, uh, we need to understand uh, this is uh, basically, uh, uh, ultimately we need to use the journal entry rule sets to derive the accounts for the debit and credits of an event class. As we, ha uh, we have already been understood about this uh, event class, so event class basically like uh, invoices and at the time of invoices creation or invoice validations and the great accounting process. These all are the events. So uh, there are basically three elements for the accounting rules, which is the rule type, value type and the condition. So for the rule type, what type of rule we need at, uh, at the time of great accounting of the custom rule. So, and the value type, after that, we need we can define the condition. So let's uh, uh, the rule type discuss. Uh, rule type we have the three, three types of rule type, which are the, the uh, list out on this uh, slide, which is account combination, segment, and value set. Basically, account combination uh, be, uh, we can define for the particular uh, constant uh, account code combination at the time of defining this account rule. So this is the first option. We can uh, select or define the account code combination. And then we can uh, also define, uh, select only the single segment. For that particular segment, uh, the value should be picked up. We can uh, constant that value. Uh, and the value sets, uh, because uh, if we have, we are using a value set in multiple prime parameterizers. So in that case, we can define one value set uh, account rule for the particular value set only, and uh, we can use uh, for the multiple time, one to many relationship for the value set only, the rule type, right? So value type, basically uh, we have the values, uh, account rule, formula, mapping set, already we have discussed mapping set. We can use also the, uh, at the time of value type, which uh, which maybe, uh, which can be the, uh, mapping set or source or constant. So these all are, we can define and we can understood in the application, right? So let me move to the application so that we can understood how to define, configure the account rules. So go to setup and maintenance. Select the offering Fusion Accounting Hub, the same navigation and then account accounting transformations. Click on configure accounting rules task. And then select your sub ledger application, the source application system. Uh, in our case, personal loan. Select it and then select the account rules. So here we need to click on add to add a new rule.
we are giving some name. The name is rate or any name we can pick it up here. And the short name should be the uppercase without space. Use the chart of account. US chart of account I'm selecting here. Select it. Okay. And now here uh, that we were talking about the rule type on this header part at the time of configuration. So these all are the rule types as per the PPT we have discussed on that particular slide. So account count combination, we have segment, the second option and value set. So here for my uh, case or this demonstration, I'm taking the segment. So which segment? Basically under this chart of account structure, we have these, uh, these all are the segments. So I'm currently uh, taking up the account. Now, next part is the rules and the value type where we need to select. Click on the add button. Here, the account rule, uh, or you can select the constant or formula or mapping set already we have defined if we have uh, already defined some uh, mapping set. So we can select also the mapping set and that can be mapped to this account rule, right? And the source. Source is also for particular source, we can select and uh, uh, put the value in the value field for that particular source. Constant value also we can put this, say for example, I'm taking a constant value. So what we need to do, we need to pick up uh, one, uh, the constant value, particular code or value for that. So I'm taking this value, any, any one of them. So let me check uh, for this scenario that we are taking here. Mm -hmm. So I'm taking any one of them. So this is the value that need to be constant for this particular uh, account rule, right? So also if we want to give some uh, condition, so condition why we are, uh, we have this condition options. So condition, uh, if any particular condition you want to give here, when the system should trigger this rule. If the condition will fulfill, then system will trigger this rule. Otherwise system will ignore the, any other or follow the standard for uh, account rule, right? So we can uh, discuss for the condition as well in our following videos, uh, upcoming videos. So uh, this is how we can define and now we need to save it and save and close, right? And now uh, by going it to uh, edit and you need to uh, change the state of, of, okay, this is active, right? This must be active so that it can be used. So this is how we can define the account rule in the system. So similarly, we can define a number of uh, account rule as per the business requirement. I hope you, you would like this video. Please comment and share this video and uh, let me know if you will have any question or query for this, right? Thank you.